It's gonna be a short workout today. Cause we're in here a little bit later. Stayed up late watching Dune with the family last night. That was pretty fun. Watching Dune. Very cool movie. I liked it. I liked it. Ugh. But we'll get it going for some squats this morning. Get warmed up. Let's get a little bit of leg activation in. Try to tune up for uh, a good week of games and gains on the way. That'll be the plan. Just kind of easing into it, bouncing back after a couple days off this week. Easing on in. I don't have to go real crazy with the squats today, real heavy or anything, but I do want to try to get us warmed up. And Yen, are you able to get a Legion products in Canada? Able to get Ascend? That's their, uh, their no trumpet. You might like that a lot. I've been enjoying it personally. It's been good. Mm. Try to get warmed up. Ease on in. Chill a little bit on the stream today. Like I said, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a short one, but I figured we'd pop the stream on anyway, say what's up. Did a little chest and back workout yesterday. Did some bench and some pull-ups with my dad was fun. Yep. Want to change the hoodie after I warmed up? Nope. All workouts are slow warm up today, dude. It's warming up, it's warming up. Warming up. <laughs> Just warming up. All day today. Oh. But if you want to, then you can take the hoodie off. You can unleash. But now, nah. it's a whole day warm up today. Just warming up. Alright, so we can pull it together. Woo! Uh, you mean me, Apex? That corn's great. I ate, a, I ate a lot of it. We may have gotten that from this stream, yeah. May have. Oh, awesome, Zephyr. Awesome, dude. Thanks for getting one. You'll love it. You'll love it. One of your mods? Maybe hammy? But yeah, we talk about that all day, so. You're welcome, you're welcome. I will take credit for it. <laughs> and Scarra, what's up, dude? Yeah, corn's good stuff, man. Tasty, easy to cook, easy to eat, easy to digest. It's nice, real nice. Glad you like it. Oh man. Oh. But yeah, I'll take I'll take credit for that with Apex. <laughs> I kinda wanna do some leg isolation stuff today too. Like I think overall the rest is probably good, but it's funny. Taking a few days out of the gym and then working out again, it's like I'm I'm actually like sore in my chest and back. It's really weird. You know, for just like a few days of take it easy. A roller gun, never have uh, tried one of those. Never have tried one. I had to give it a try before I made any sort of judgments about it, but yeah, it hasn't been part of my equation yet, but I mean, if it's, if it's getting blood flow in there, you know, it could be good. Oh, could be all right, huh?
I need some. Some quad extensions. Might need a few. Oh man. Oof. Yeah, it's cool effects, huh? Very cool. Ugh, might need some. Watch steady. Yeah. Yes, so. I mean, even if you're just using it to reduce your meat, that's probably, you know, still good to spreading your your food source around a little bit. Sounds good to me. All right. Oh, just hopping on to say what's up today. Try to get a little leg pumps. Get these legs activated so we can get some good training this week. And the big week games and games coming, team. It'll be fun. It'll be real fun. Yeah, I'm gonna do a few of these in between the warm-up today, I think. Wake these legs up. Ugh. Ugh. Let's hop into the gym for a quick one today. Things going on the server. Hammy and white light. How are things hanging? Big hand. That's an eight there. That's my big flex for you. Appreciate it, man. Welcome back, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That'll work, Zip. That'll work. Uh, how's uh, how's our server looking today? I don't think I'll be able to be on today, but still, always curious. How things are going? Okay, yeah, I feel you. Have you been putting your PvP set together? Nice, purple's uh, staying active, that's good. That's good, glad to hear it. Glad to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, I need, need to make sure that my, uh, I mean, 550 is pretty good. It's better than, it's higher level than me. Do you have your PvP set yet? Because I, I think that's the priority for the resilience. There's been reports that it's bugged right now and giving double dipping or like, it's giving you just resistance on all damage. But it's just good to have the gear for PvP anyway. But if you don't have that yet, you might want to get it. It's pretty easy to get, but yeah, you, you probably want to get that. Let's go ahead and buy yourself the heavy, the heavy faction gear for war. Huh? I'll see you later. Okay, baby. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna go meet my gardening friends. What? I'm gonna go meet Betty and Janice. I'll go meet Betty and Janice. Yeah. Catch you later. Bye-bye. You can leave it up if you want to. Thanks. Yeah. Definitely want to try to get my guild. Make sure that all you guys have a full set of PvP gear. Yep. I feel like, I mean, you want the PvP gear anyway. Resilience is a really good stat regardless for PvP, but if it's giving you full damage reduction, not how it's supposed to work, but it's still a really good set. If I could, if I could only have knee sleeves or a belt, I'd really have a belt. But the, the knee sleeves are kind of nice just to keep your legs warm. They're kind of nice. But yeah, I definitely want my definitely want to try to get my guild. Everybody get PvP gear. But if I get the other way, higher level than me, they're pumping, pumping. And things will change, but right now the meta is like definitely like, 
you know, get that PVP gear in. As a healer, maybe as everybody wear a heavy, unless you want to cut you. But yep. Sounds good to me. been doing like a little bit of hamstring or not hamstring a little bit of a hex bar deadlifts for the quads and hams for a little bit but maybe this is a little bit different Ugh. it's a little bit different sup sup Pop a little more weight on this thing and still try to use this to get some activation going for today. That's the name of the game, is getting in the gym and pumping a little bit. Trying to leg some direct leg work, loving. That's not a text bar. But my back and chest are pretty sore actually, man. It's funny. Did a ton of pull-ups yesterday. I don't think so. Not, not usually on the weekends. Yesterday was kind of like a bonus thing for the, our sponsor stream. <laughs> but I, I kind of doubt it. I do kind of doubt it. All good though. All good though. For exercise rep count for leg mass, squats, and a ton of them. But it depends. 8 to 12 for hypertrophy is fine, but definitely if you're doing some heavier stuff is good. But I mean, squats are pretty good for your legs, man. You'll see me doing a lot of squats. Ugh. Yeah, how's old, how's old New World going? You have, you have your full set of PP here, don't you, White Knight? Once again, if not, I, I really would like to have all my all my PP battlers get that. It's just good gear. It's good gear. Good quality gear. Oh. Okay, yeah. Four out of five is still pretty good, yeah. 
Yep, definitely. And we're getting maxed up with max weight, sure. Yeah, make sure you're keeping good form on your heavy stuff too, yep. Yep. Try to put some weight on that squat. Just a little bit. Healing is OP. <laughs> That's funny. We had some pretty fun BP scraps yesterday morning. I don't know if you were here for that, Andy, but no, no, I, I thought you were here. You were here when we were fighting over the elites. That's pretty fun, huh? Yeah, we could definitely have a couple people using hatchets for the. Uh, the AOE healing debuff. I mean, I could do that. I like hammer, but I mean, hatchet on point for a healing debuff would be kind of nice. Just have a couple people use hatchets instead of hammer. Good. Get that healing debuff on people. Could be very good. Chuck that on the point, chuck that on the healers. Was that a headshot or did it just hit hard? So life size like heel tone now? Nice, nice. Looking forward to having you in some battles, Tammy. Sounds good. Both. Yeah, that's funny. You have about a third of his health. <laughs> that pop. I love to see it. You got pop. Somewhere between high and low bar, wherever you feel comfortable. Wherever you feel strongest. Like most solid and supported and stuff. 
It doesn't have to be like row one or the other necessarily, right? It can be somewhere in between where you feel the best. That makes a lot of sense to me to do it that way. So I'm not doing full low bar, but I'm also not really quite doing high bar these days. I think as I get more comfortable with back squatting with the barbell again, I'll probably start drifting closer and closer to low bar if I had to guess, but I think I'm somewhere in between right now. It's kind of like how I do somewhere between sumo and conventional. <laughs> The samurai stance, I call it. Not, not quite the sumo, but not quite the conventional. The samurai. <laughs> samurai stance. Beast, yeah, he is crazy strong. Yeah, oh, crazy strong. But yeah, low bar kind of beats up my shoulders and elbows, so I, I haven't been doing it quite as much. Wider grip, uh, not necessarily, but maybe. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be probably somewhere in between, right? Something that ends up feeling good to you. That makes a lot of sense to me. Rather than just like, has to be completely low bar, completely high bar. Sounds good. Yeah, I love that idea. Love that idea. <laughs> I think if I have somebody, if I have like a, like a paladin tank healer healing me in war, I think we'll do some serious work. That's the, that is kind of like what I'm what I'm thinking about Apex competing next year. Yep. If I have some sort of tanky battle paladin healing me in the back line, oh baby, like a life staff warhammer kind of thing, or honestly frost gun would be fine. More of a monk healer with rapier light armor rolls, sure. Whatever. Hey, whatever feels good to you, man. But if you can be in the back line helping me with CC and healing me, I mean, like we'll destroy people. But yeah, would you play whatever you want? If you're healing me, or just whatever, even if you just want to come to the server and just play whatever, yeah, come on over. It'd be great. Our, our army, Bajira's army, is uh, building in strength. We're going to be a, a mean mercenary crew here pretty soon, I think. A mean mercenary crew. I don't necessarily need to be... I mean, like, controlling our own territory, I think would be really cool. But we can mostly just, you know, hop in war and fight and do fortress rushes and stuff together. It'd be a blast, so. That's what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm envisioning right now for our guild. Yeah. Uh, what, what covenant or, or what faction are they on, Hammy? What faction are those guys? Yeah, our server's bumping. I definitely think that people probably wanna wanna come over here and be part of it. Oh, they're uh, uh, so that now they have two super sweaty covenant guilds. Great. <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, great. That's funny. Okay, well we'll see how that goes. Like I said, us Marauders gotta step it up, man. Gotta step it up. Gotta get it together. Yeah. Hey, you should come over. It's, it's a good server. It'll be fun. You might have to re-level though, right? Because he's on west. I'm not, I'm not sure. If they open up east to west, or west to east, that'd be cool. Yeah. It'd be fun to have him over there. Our server owns. Definitely be great to have him.
Okay. Get warmed up. Yeah, I usually try the same muscle group about twice a week. Something like that, yeah. It's like maybe every four days. But that's about twice a week, right? Yeah, fun to have some over here. We could use more powerful mages in our army. The Marauder Army. Zara might have to re-level until they open up the west to east transfers. If that's going to be a thing. Which I, should, I feel like it definitely should be. It could be, right? I just made smart name, but swap the H and the J. Yeah. Well, there you go, Chris. Yeah, that's uh, that's the plan I have. Cause yep, yep, that's the plan. That's the plan. Cool. How did I go after that? Oh man, sounds good to me. Might need to put more weight on this too, actually. Okay, do a couple sets though. You really gotta like, you know, get momentum off the bat on offense, it feels like. But good try, good try. Good practice. Do we have any wars on Monday? Anything looking like it'll pop up? There we go. And how, because you have full set of PvP gear? There we go. And when are you going to join Bajir's army, Havikus? Did you want to join our guild, or? I don't know how much you do over in the Hangar Squad.
Whoopi's got you. You're an officer, got you, okay. It's up to you. What's, it's up to you. We got, we got a spot for you. Yep. I mean, you'd be an officer in our guild, too. I mean, either way. Hammer Squad's great trying to say no, your role wasn't there. Yeah, as long as you have resilience on your gear, that's the important thing. The VP is just an excellent, an excellent set to get started. Especially if resilience is bugged. <laughs> But that won't last forever. Even then, it still seems really good. Woo! Still seems pretty good. Seems solid. All right. Are there just armor sets? I'm not sure there are. Just like sets. If you probably just want high eye level gear at the right rolls, right? Yeah, that's why we do stuff every day, like you know, all the time to have because I like once again, hammer squad's great. I'm not trying to poach you. It's just like. If they have a lot of healers over there and you're usually gaming with our team, maybe just join our guild, you know? But if you have like a, if a, if you have like a role in the Hammer Squad, don't worry about it. We'll just keep doing our thing. But like I said, I'm trying to build like a strong mercenary crew of, of PvP battlers in our guild. So we can help out in the wars. And we make, our, we make our skills and our impact on the wars so invaluable that we get to come more, you know, get to be brought to war more often. You know, that kind of thing. Oh. That's the idea. <laughs> Once the store's up, come good. Yeah, that's that's my kind of vision right now for the guilds. Don't need to work on a lot of property ownership or politics, just just get us in the war so we can play and, and make a difference, you know? The idea of making gold by being paid to join a war is fun, but I don't think we need to do that quite just yet. This opportunity to get in the war is fun enough. I mean, you make gold by fighting the war, but you make like 700 gold if you win the war, right? That's pretty good. Pretty good money for a, for a day's work in the war. Uh, just build a name for ourselves as proficient battlers. People who are geared up and know what they're doing and know how to work together, you know? That sounds, that sounds pretty fun to me, right? I mean, is real nice. Hello! What's up, cool guy? You're looking good today, dude. You're coming just a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Looking good today, mister? Yeah, mister's always looking good. Got the shades on, the v-neck sweater. Do some laundry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get warmed up today, Neeters. Do what you can, bud. Get warmed up. Do what you can. Yeah, you got a nice one? Yeah. Well, that'll be the plan. You guys can join the guild if you want to. Be a little mercenary crew. Fighting the wars. And 518 gear score is one thing. Just make sure that you get uh, your PvP set for resilience and stuff. Because resilience, it currently is bugged, so it just reduces all damage. But it's just a good set regardless, so. But when they fix that, it'll still be good. But right now, it's especially good. But more musketeers to bring down their, uh, their turrets sounds good to me. You can run a little ranged outfit and go snipe the turrets down. It'd be great. That would be swell. Oh. This 
a, a group of uh, people in the Sears Army who know what they're doing in wars. Yeah, you can choose one perk on a weapon, or on gear, and then it just rolls random stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you probably assist by healing people who get kills, right? Crit damage, headshot damage, yeah. I mean, you just have to keep crafting until it rolls those things, right? Pretty sure that's how that works. But yeah, you can like craft something on them. We'll just keep pumping. Doing our thing in our in our guild. Running great axe as well, everyone. I mean, if you're in heavy armor, you can do what you want, but. If you want to be a battle healer, you're probably better off being uh, like a hammer. But. All good. Pro definitely probably better off bringing some CC and stuff. <laughs> what kind of PvP experience do you have from other games, have, I guess? PP in a while bit, like what kind of arena experience do you have? So probably you're a little bit fresh PP. You're running in with a great axe as a healer, it starts to make me a little worried. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, we gotta train you up. <clears throat> Are you wearing heavy armor? Yep. Start practicing with heavy armor if you want to. Heavy armor, war hammer, life staff. Start practicing with that for a little bit. That'd be better. Yeah. And don't run in. Oh. Every light hammer, good, good. Good, good. Oh. Good, good. Train you up. Train up our mercenary crew. Oof. And then we gotta train you to start running in their back line with me and dropping a hammer and healing me. Dad, you drop your hammer CC while I great axe people and heal me. We'll shred. If we can get like, you and Heavy back there, we'll just never die. We'll just be a nuisance. 300 strength, heavy armor, melee with two battle healers. Yeah. That's all good, Lance. That, one, that looks like dog's popping off, isn't it? It's been popping off. I put the gator one up there. Holy crap. Just for fun. That, that, that there gator. Why not? Just for fun. 
But yeah. The gate video, yeah. That was insane. I thought that was gonna be a good one. Insane. That one is mega pumping. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, I feel like the two battle healers in the back line would be insane. Yeah. What does it just say with me having this in the back line? And keep yourself and me alive. And then have, we'll have like, if we get Hammy back there too, we'll just destroy everybody. You guys bring the CC and heals and I'll just chop everybody up. That'd be nutty. That'd be nutty. Because if you play Hammer, I can play Hatchet and I can just debuff, I can just like healing debuff people and chop them down. Two healers in the back line would be insane. 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 They're really fun. Insane. Is this the coffee grinder or is this the coffee maker? Yeah, I mean, any weapon that buys you time, like a frost gun or a hammer, even a rapier, like you're saying. Um, it just gives you time for your cooldowns to come back up, so. Yeah. Standing 
Join the army, come join the mercenary squad. Come on over. It'd be great. Of course, Bill, once again, man, thank you so much for the five months. Appreciate it, dude. I, just, I really do feel like in, in these wars, I've, I've been healed a couple times in wars, and when I get heals, we just destroy everybody. So if we can do that consistently, we're going to destroy everybody. It'll be fine. I think having like two battle healers in the background would be great. Circle. That thing does pump, but it might not be worth for healing in the back lines.
That's the idea. Is that good? Well, the meta will change as like they make changes, right? Because right now, heavy armor, full PvP gear is the meta, no matter who you are in war. Sort of. But you can still play what you want. But you play different spells, and like I said, I mean, a lot of a lot of great axe guys use charge, reap, gravity well, and I'm like, I'm gonna try all kinds of different stuff and see what that feels. You know, try Maelstrom out, and Maelstrom seems pretty fun, so you got options. Definitely try different stuff. No reason not to. It's kind of fun. Like execute, like I don't, I don't think I love execute, but it's kind of fun, but I want to at least give it a try, right? I don't know how to make it helpful if I do the combo, right? Trying to armor breaker, does a lot of damage, so. Seems pretty good. Big one, your big stiff. We'll have to look for it, bud. Where's your big stiff? Got more sets. Let's see where it is. Couple more sets. Alright. Darn right. Alright, Overlock. Probably put a Vizier on that one, too. Alright. Does Archer have the big bar? Oh, here it is. Here, Archer. Is this what you wanted? There you go. You got a hold of him? Yes. There we go. Stay over here. Come on over this way, honey. Closer to your other one. No, you just gotta keep him away from the spew. You and him have to stay away from the squad. I'm gonna squat as well. You can't hit him like a light little. Because then you'll, then you'll move backwards. Well, so. Okay. We can go do this outside. Let's do this outside. Oh, I mean, I got a lot to do. No, no. You wanna do it outside? Yeah, let's do it. Thanks for that reset, dude. This means that people are joining up and it, it's active, that's good. Wow, boy. This is so fast. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Where's that little bird? He's a kitty cat. Here's a little kitty cat. 
You guys gotta, you guys gotta move somewhere else. Okay. Come here, little bird. Come on over here, Kiki. And I picked up a little birdie, Kiki. I'm getting that 20 minutes refunded. Yeah. 20 minutes of refunded work out there. There you go. for his range up, you're not playing that for 1v1s. I mean, they're not going to kill you. Ugh. Just shoot with your life sad, bro. They can't kill you. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they, they just keep running, they can't kill you. <laughs> you got a life staff on. <laughs> they can't kill you. Be fine. Oh, oops. Oh. I'm not sure what you're asking me, Helium. Not really, no. What else makes you feel tired and sore? Take a rest there, drop weight? Yeah, sure. <laughs> just gotta, I mean, if, if you're feeling all right, just may as well roll through a little bit. Just keep going. Oh, why not? Let's keep it going. We're just warming up today a little bit. Warming up, as the hoodie says, just warming up. in the gym for a little leg activation. I mean, Spear's probably not that bad for a diving backline, right? Just hopping on healers or and CCing the crap out of them. Probably, man. Probably. Alright, it's constantly rolling, make sure you come back up. Yeah. Gotcha. Still, I mean, a CC chain is still probably pretty good. But yeah. If you have to roll, might end up being kind of squishy in the back line. 
Could might be, yeah. I just want to try having two battle paladins in the back line with me. I just want to try it out sometime. Just bring. So like ne next war, if you guys want to, hey, we try to get your PvP set. I'll try to bring you and Havocus in the war, and just you guys can just stay with me and heal me in the back line. See what happens. Drop hammer stones and heal in the back line. Just wreak havoc back there. Or even go to like an off point and fight together. That'd be fun. It'd be real fun. But we need, we, need to, we need to find some competent healers, for sure. Gotta figure it out. I'm gonna just, just do a couple more sets of squats and we gotta probably do a couple sets of uh, hamstrings and then probably be out of here. Just come in here and just get warmed up with them little legs. Get a little warm up in today. So burst healing, healing for yourself with hammer, which does heal you too. So, got options. Yeah, I think sacred ground's probably not as good for pushing back line. Right, probably not. And hey, did you hear me about? Did you hear about the PvP gear thing? We need to make sure that you get resilient on your gear for now. It's good in general, but especially right now, you need resilient for sure. Yep. Yeah, hops are good for war too. Yep. That's good too. So if I have a bunch of hammer boys in the back, I'm gonna use uh. I mean, you guys could be either hammer or you could be hatchet too if you want to play hatchet and just throw your healing debuffs at people so I can kill them with my stuns combos. That could be an option too. Hatchet also makes you really hard to kill. So, that is something to consider. Hammer or hatchet as an offhand for healer would be fine. You, just, you guys just throw, you guys just use your throws to debuff targets for me, like with Ren and with uh, and the healing debuff. You guys can try hatchet, like that hatchet. If hammer or hatchet's good. Hammer for the sun, but, but hatchet you can debuff people like crazy. Give it a try. Because you throwing debuffs is also fantastic. I mean, you can get your hatchet up 
to a level where you can have rending throw and uh, infected throw pretty quickly. And then just get reserved for the point where it heals you, and then you're good to go. You can get the cheat death too if you get no points in it, but yeah, I mean, like, that could really work too. Hammer, uh, replace that hatchet to survive and to uh, debuff. It, it, it wouldn't take you very long at all. Your hatchet level 20? Yeah, try it then. Play hatchet lifestyle for me. With heavy armor, just just throw your throw your rending your rending throw and your debuff on people for me, and I'll just chop them down with my hammer, great axe. Yep. That could absolutely work. That's all you need to know. Here you go, Ben. You can check out Diverge. I'll walk you through a diet. There you go. Check out the Gains channel. Here's one example. There you go, buddy. There you go, dude. something that you know the answer to again, I'm probably just going to permanently ban you. Okay? This is going to be straight up with you, man. I'm going to be straight up with you. You've been here too long. To be pretending like you're clueless. <laughs> been here too long. But there you go, dude. Those are some great options for you. All good stuff. Nothing new, but... All good stuff. Oh man. You gotta get going here pretty soon though. Did a couple sets of squats, a couple sets of uh, ice, like maybe one more set of hamstrings will be good, then we'll get going. Can't be sticking around too long today. Got stuff to do. Got stuff to do. But a little light tune-up for this coming week is good. Right? Uh, Alright. Good little, little tune-up. Try to get things feeling right. Make sure you guys are showing love to the YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Tons of content for you. Probably be the only stream we do today, but we'll be back in action for a normal session of Games and Games tomorrow. Appreciate the love. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Peace.